Hi, Air Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Cap Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Air Signs, please. It is correct for Air Signs, but Air Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is not correct. It's been a long reading and I've done a couple of readings before. I'm also going to do your, um, how the astrology of the 23rd, probably 22nd, the energies I feel have already picked up um, until like the 27th, 30th of March, end of March, based on your rising sign. If not your rising sign, your sun sign is fine. The themes that you might see come up during this week as well. So let's get into your inner guidance, spiritual healing, coaching, shadow work, elements, side of the weekly astrology readings. For air signs, I keep wanting to say Taurus. It's going to be interesting to see if you've got a lot of earth around you. Some of you have been out in nature trying to ground yourself. Um, I keep wanting to say the earth signs. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Magician. Whoa, some of you have been out in nature. Have you been trying to manifest? I feel like some of you have a higher power and are and some of you feeling something's not right let's get some more cards I feel with this is the disconnection because I'm getting disconnected there's some crown chakra, there's, there's definitely some crown chakra, chakra activations. I felt it in the earth signs. Ten of cups. Two of wands. With this, what I'm really feeling is that There is a potential for something here to be of a wish fulfillment, okay? And it's likely to be a partnership. Now, some of you might be working on manifesting this or someone is trying to manifest you through this. Empress. Some of you could be trying to get pregnant. This is really interesting now where this is going. Some of you could be trying to get pregnant. Okay, you could be married, you could have a partner, you could be trying to get pregnant and start your family. That's coming through for you. I also feel with this, there's a bit of planting the seed for an incubation for that then to grow. That could be around any manifestation you want, a relationship, you know, whatever it is that you want to work on. Very good. There's very good energy here. Two of Cups. Some of you are looking to manifest a partnership, a love, possibly a reunion. I don't know why I'm getting a reunion with that. Knight of Wands. And it is coming in. There's something about this magician that I'm not understanding for some reason that I feel like I've not expressed. I've not felt the release of. Ten of Wands, Eight of Wands, Judgment. You are making a better judgment in terms of what has been weighing you down recently 
which could be what you've been working on and I feel this is strongly to do with it could be about starting a family but something's been weighing down I think it's to do with partnerships And you're letting that go and having a better judgment that by not burning yourself out and working on something and have a better judgment call, possibly tapping into what makes you feel better within your gut, what is making sense within your gut. is going to get you to where you want to be either with the people that align with you better. This is strongly saying to me, if some of you have got something that you're not sure about, is not sitting well within your gut, it's right. Whether it's good or bad, it's right. Trust your gut is talking to you. Your intuition is talking to you. So some of you, There's an angel here as well. So those of you that are trying to get pregnant or, you know, plant a seed and manifest the seed of all this abundance that we've got in terms of especially love and partnerships, um, that is being protected by archangels. Possibly by your ancestors as well with the magician. There's definitely an element with these two cards of you releasing what no longer is aligned for you. What has been weighing you down and burning you out. And this combination, once you release that, whether this is a person, people, places, something that's not aligned with you, dragging your energy down, you move into this with better judgment. You've got the magician here that tells you. Hi, air signs. Taurus Virgo is going to come out again. You could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn heavily within your energy at the moment maybe that's the energy that's dragging you down but just to recap where we got up i said about the magician is going to be your gut trust what your gut is coming through and once you move into the combination i mentioned trusting your gut whatever it's telling you you've got the knight of wands the two of cups the ten of cups the empress the two of wands and the ace of wands you move into better these are better alignment for you the new alignment of you there's people that are not serving you there's some energy environment that's not serving you and your gut is not lying to you two of pentacles you seem to be ebbing in and out of what you know, but you, you're not trusting your gut. Maybe this confirmation or epiphany will come to you this week that you need to walk away. The change is needed for your best and highest interest. Now, while I pulled out the Eight of Cups and I just split the deck again, it was the same card I saw. It's going to be healing for you when you move away. And this is also telling me about grounding and alignment in your in your body, which is maybe what I've been getting every time I've wanted to say air signs, but then mention the earth signs as well. If it's not the earth signs that are um, heavily within your energy and also about planting the seed and watching it grow. What is it that you want? But you need to move away. And I also feel the star card has moved out again. You need to move away from hiding yourself as well. I feel with these two cards, you're hiding yourself by not letting something go that you know is no longer serving you. And it's not in your alignment of your next version of you. The new self of you. 
what you're planting the seed, what is going to grow. You need to stop juggling this. Whatever is not aligned, some people, places, let it go because the new is coming in for you. High Priestess, with the Magician. The healing, the judgment is telling me trust your gut, trust your those nigs you get. The signs you're going to get this week as well is very important. So air signs, I hope you enjoyed this. Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. If you did, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you tune in to also the video that will be uploaded in terms of how this week the themes you might see in terms of your rising sign. This is for elementals. I would also check your other placements because it's about inner work. So it might not be your sun sign if you're watching and it's your sun sign. It might be another sign. It might be a, not one of your top placements as well. It might be Aries because Aries is in a certain house for you. So you look at that elemental reading and it also resonates. So do check that out. They're always very significant. And if you like these weekly astrologers in terms of the, the weekly heads up, the way I do it, which I try to simplify as well. And also um, the themes that I try to read as opposed to just reading the tarot to give you a different version of your readings of your monthly as well. Um, do let me know and I'll see you. This is folding the page, that chapter of this weekly astrology. I will do short from this weekly astrology after, if there's significant changes that come in around the 28th, 30th, 31st, I'll do shorts or small updates. So this is significant until the end of March. Look out for your next readings as well. And thank you for everyone who tuned in. If you're still with us, and take care of yourselves. Bye for now.